crossflow, otherwise known as tangential flow filtration, or TFF, is a process technique in which a membrane is used to separate biomolecules based on their size. TFF differs from dead-end or normal flow filtration because the material passes across a membrane rather than through it. A typical TFF configuration consists of the following components. A feed reservoir, feed pump, filter, feed, retentate and permeate lines, pressure gauges to make sure the system stays at the correct pressure, and a vessel to collect the permeate. The material is fed in from the feed reservoir by a pump and enters the filter via the feed line. Material that does not pass through the membrane is called the retentate and is usually pumped back into the feed reservoir. Material that transits the membrane is called the permeate and can be collected separately in the collection vessel. There are two main types of membranes used in TFF, known as hollow fiber and cassette. The hollow fiber membrane consists of a cylinder with the membrane embedded as separate fibers. Filtration occurs as the fluid passes between the fibers. Another type of membrane is the cassette style, in which the layers of membrane are stacked inside of a housing and are separated by small screens. Filtration occurs when small molecules in the feed pass through the pores in the adjacent membranes to enter the permeate, while molecules larger than the pores exit in the retentate. One factor that distinguishes membranes is pore size. There are two common types of membrane based on pore size, microfiltration and ultrafiltration. Microfiltration membranes have pores that are 0.1 micron or larger and are used to separate cells, cellular debris, or other macromolecules from proteins and small molecules. When the material is applied to a microfiltration membrane, the smaller components pass through the membrane while the larger components are retained. To isolate proteins in the 3 kiloton to 1,000 kiloton range in a solution, ultrafiltration membranes having pores smaller than 0.1 micron are used. In this case, proteins larger than the pores are retained while smaller molecules such as water and solutes pass into the permeate. Because the water is removed in the process, ultrafiltration membranes are routinely used to concentrate proteins. TFF is used in a variety of unit operations, including cell harvesting, lysate clarification, product fractionation, protein concentration, and diafiltration. TFF is used to collect cells when centrifugation is not available or practical. Microfiltration membranes are used because most other materials will pass through and cells will be retained inside the membrane. This process also can be used to selectively recover the supernatant. In this situation, the product of interest would be in the fraction that passes through the membrane and is separated from the cells. After cells are lysed, the lysate includes a significant amount of debris, including fragments of cell membrane and unlysed cells. Typically, microfiltration membranes are used to remove these materials and prepare for purification by chromatography. Smaller proteins can be separated from larger proteins through the use of ultrafiltration membranes having pores that allow the smaller proteins to pass through while retaining the larger ones. Because the size of pores in these membranes can vary, it is important that the proteins to be separated are vastly different in size. One of the primary reasons to use TFF is to concentrate proteins after the material has been diluted during chromatography steps and the final product 
may not be concentrated sufficiently to meet your requirements. While TFF can be used to remove water from the material, it is important to recognize that some of the protein may stick to membranes or be lost as a precipitate. In this process, a buffer is added while the protein is being concentrated. As a result, the final product has a different buffer formulation than that used initially. It's always a good idea to follow a checklist when running a procedure like TFF. The following is a 10-step one we recommend. Make sure you collect a pre-filtration sample of the material to compare against later. Identify the components of the TFF system you will need. Insert the inlet tubing into the material to be concentrated. Make sure that the filtrate line enters a clean container and the retentate line goes back into the reservoir. Turn the system on and record the flow rate of the pump. Check the pressure settings often to ensure that the pressure never exceeds the recommended limits. Run the pump until the volume of material has been reduced without ever letting the reservoir run dry. Remove the inlet tubing from the reservoir and slowly run the pump until all of the material trapped in the membrane returns to the reservoir via the retentate line. Measure the absorbances of the pre- and post-filtration samples. Determine yield and fold concentration.